Hey everybody, welcome back to the 2022 Hazy Shade Open. This is round two coverage from Art Fisher Park of the lead card. This is the back nine. And Tyler Horn is sitting at 16 under, Brad Schick 15 under, Jerry Krause 13 under, Tony Maurice at 10 under. And Tyler Horn's off to a pretty hot start, six under for the round. And we're heading into hole 10. Par 4, 475, plenty of danger in this back nine. We have an OB pond on the left. We have an OB sidewalk on the right. And the green funnels down to uh, a, a dangerous little, little point here. Hole 10 is the fifth hardest hole of the day. It averaged uh, 3.96. And Jerry wants it to skip inbounds. And he gets the safe call and he's pumped. We gotta get around this, this main tree right in the middle. And Brad finds himself right behind it. So he'll have to go under it or around it or something. And Tyler Horn wants nothing to do with that tree. I think he's thinking Eagle. He can get up there. But instead his disc turns over and doesn't come back hard enough. And uh, he's, up, he's OB. Tony Mo, nice rip. Nice drive, well played. So this is where Tyler went out of bounds. And it hits that tree and bounces the wrong way and goes OB again. So that's pretty tragic. He does not get to advance very far. Good day for fishing. It's pretty windy though. Dangerous one way, dangerous the other, so pick your poison. And he wants to skip away from the water. Can't blame him if you have a forehand like that. Good shot, Brad. Beautiful. Tap in birdies. Uh oh. More trouble. So three birds and a triple bogey. Tyler had such a hot round going. I'm sure he'll pick it back up. No one, Tyler. So again, three birdies and a triple bogey. Uh, putting Brad Schick at 16, Jerry at 14, Tyler at 13, and Tony at 11. Hole 11, one of my favorites. Uh, par four, 675 feet. Got, it's just, got a pond on the left, a road on the right, 
And this pin has changed positions over the years, which is cool. And this is in the furthest placement. Got an OB sidewalk and an OB road and a bunch of trees in the way, so. Jerry's up first. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I have a job. This cost's not paying the bill. Tony wants this birdie. There you go. And that's a nice pump to put him in a good position to go around that wall of trees on the left side. Still take a good shot. And that one came out just a little lower than he expected it to. Hole 11 plays at uh, 3.92 on the day. And just misses the gap by a few feet. There's Dave Ludington and his son. Uh, Dave was one of the redesigners of this course. And Tony gets around the trees beautifully. I mean, this is this is gorgeous. Look at this. Perfect. So he had to get between the ridge and the tree, and it just came out a little too low. It's a good run. Yeah. All right, Tony for birdie. So three pars and a nice birdie by Tony Mo. Brad at 16, Jerry at 14, Tyler at 13, Tony at 12 under. Hole 12, par three, 310 feet. You gotta go around that tree we just went under and you gotta dodge these trees, that big blocker bush on the left or maybe it's an evergreen or a cedar. Tony with the box after that birdie. And there it is. He's about pin high, maybe about 50 feet out.
but Tony's got, he's 50 feet out, but he's got a pretty clear look at it. <laughs> Jerry's zipping under the tree, and he's almost pin high, he's about 40 feet out. Brad with a beautiful looking forehand, but it's just a tad too long. I think that's where birdies go to and die. He gets here. caught up in that cedar. Tyler with another good looking forehand and gets right in front of it and he'll have a putt from about 25 feet. Ooh, right off the band. Good run. Jerry with a similar look. Chain high, just missed. Tyler for two. Nice bird. Going in a hole 13. This one's this one's a little different. This is like 13 and 14 combined, but you're playing on the other side of the sidewalk. It's a big par five, 820 feet, and it played at 4.92, so it played right at par. You got OB all along the right side of the fairway, and it's a bit of a dog leg, and then you have an island green and a pond. So lots of danger on this hole. Nice rip by Tony, right down the gut. Jerry's going for, uh, he wants to cut the corner with this huge drive. But unfortunately it clips a tree and it stays OB. So he's not gonna be able to advance very much. Right down the middle. This is a professional. And he needs this to fade into the fairway. At least get back inbounds, and it does. It's inbounds, and that was a beautiful shot. He cut the corner, that was huge. Brad throws a stick on Tony's cart. I was gonna throw it in your bag. And he's just going to place it perfect right where he wanted. So he'll be in position to make it onto the iron green for his bird. Another nice forehand by Tyler. So Jerry's going for the green to make to try to save his par. It is an island green, you see all those white flags surrounding it. And he'll have a putt from about 20 feet, 25 feet. Look 
like a zone. Jerry needs us to save par after that OB drive. Beautiful par save. And the rest of the guys will tap in for their birds. There was one eagle on the day. Shout out to uh, Nolan Blessing. And now Brad at 17, Tyler at 15, Jerry at 14, Tony at 13. Pretty tight race. Going into hole 14, 650 feet. Big fairway on the, on the left, but there is OB lining the entire fairway on the right. Just past that mound over there is OB. And they're going to have an OB sidewalk up by the pin and an OB road behind the pin. And just like hole 10, it turned over on them a little bit and didn't come back enough. And that drive went OB. Way farther than Bart throws. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you got that on camera. <laughs> nice rip. Probably a nuke. Maybe a force. Nice drive. Probably a Scorpius, if I had to guess. Brad is concerned about that OB sidewalk on the right of the pen, and it does go past the sidewalk. He's OB up near the pen. And this is where Tyler went out. But he found a nice gap. Great putt. Nice bird. This would be, normally be hole 15 on the permanent course, but for today it's hole 14 because we've combined the last two holes for that monster hole. Nice birdie. Nice putt. This hole played as the fourth easiest hole at 3.66 on the day. That tightens it up even more. Brad at 16, Jerry at 15, Tony and Tyler at 14. And we're now we're heading into the second hardest hole of the day, hole 15, par 4, 530 feet. You've got a bunch of trees in the way, a pond on the right, and a parking lot on the left. 
so no wonder this played as the second hardest hole of the day. Even being a par 4, it played at uh, 4.22. Tony up first. Good drive. Just needs to sit down. Great shot. And it does right before the parking lot. Stay safe. Tyler. It's right. figured you guys were on the same team if you yeah. watched some of yours. Yes. I should do a good spot. Yes. Mike Butter right down the middle. Good shot, Brad. Uh, you know, I don't really know where to land. And that's just about picture perfect. Nice. No surprise electing the sky hyzer whenever you can. Clips a tree and keeps him safe. Good run. Brad for birdie. I think he hit the same spot Tyler did. Jerry for bird. Nice. Good putt. Oh, he's thinking the tree that is <laughs> that clipped his disc. Tony for bird. So it looks like Tony keeps his honor. And he's going to keep the box heading into hole 16, 485 feet. Jerry and Brad at 16, Tony at 15, Tyler at 14. All right, heading into hole 16. 485 feet, par four. You got the same pond, but now it's on your right side. And the basket's just beyond this ridge on a little hill. Well, this ending's sucking pretty bad. Good. Tony's philosophy, don't try to do too much on this hole. Just get past that tree and make a good upshot. It's got to come out. Jerry wants to get a little further down the fairway and 
winds up catching the edge of the pond and going obi. Maybe Tyler's thinking eagle on this one. I think he was, but it just was a couple feet left of his line. Brad clips a tree, but it bounces right into the middle of the fairway for him. And that was really close, but Brad said he, he never had a doubt. Uncomfortable lie for Tyler. Pretty good result. Nice. So Tony about to make it four birdies in a row. Looking for Jerry's disc. Trying to figure out the best place to spot it. And it rolled like right where it is, probably off of it. for birdie. Just caught a little too left side of the chain. Let's settle for par. There's, there's Dave Ludington and his son taking in the action on, on the lead card. But Ludington, they just noticed on their on their phones that Nate Hecker's were playing really hot after the first 10 holes. Well, after the first, he was 10 under after the first 11 holes for priming. So a lot of activity there on chase cards coming up. Andrew Martin. Nate Hacker. Either one. Either one. This one. Shot, Tony. Nice. Absolutely, absolutely butter. And that just goes OB long. It's an island green. You can see the hay bales. Hole 17 is not normally here. This is just for uh, the tournament. It's 275 foot par 3, island green. If you don't make the green, you have to go to a drop zone. With the OB, this is his, ooh. That would have been an incredible par save. Same thing, Jerry to try to save his par after the OB. Oh man, center rung, top rung. Brad for birdie, good bird. Tony for his two. Nice bird. Come on, 
Jerry and Tyler tap in their bogues. And now Tony and Brad at 17, Jerry at 15, and Tyler at 13. Tony with five birds in a row. Nice. Now hole 18 for the day plays at a par 4, 470 feet. It's normally not over here, the, the tee pad. Okay, that was pretty big. Brad goes over the pond. And then safe in the fairway. It's a bad memory for me. That's how I lost my race. Yeah. And it caught the edge of the tree on the way, on the way past it. Huge hyzer up into the sky. Massive. And Tyler's going to have a rare look at this pin for two. This played as the easiest hole on the day at 3.28. Tyler for Eagle. Oh, right side chains. Shout out to Calvin Caldwell, the only Eagle on the day. And the guys are going to birdie out. Good round, fellas. Tony with the 1004 rated round. Uh, but that didn't do it. The winner for the day. Congratulations. The 1056 rated round. Tony and Brad for 18 under for the round, but that didn't do it. There was another 18 under, Andrew Martin. But 20 under wound up winning it. I'm going to let Todd from Hazy make the announcement. First annual Hazy Shade Open. Congratulations, buddy. Good job. There he is. Ooh. Way to break it. Hey, great Shout course. I think you did a good job. Shout out Hazy Shade. Yep. That's her speech. Shout out. Yeah. Shout, Shout out. out. Shout out. Shout out. That's all. Not like nobody I've been else, working nobody else bothered when Christine won, too. Put in a lot of effort. Congratulations, Christine. Do I have to see Jerry do speeches, too? <laughs> we're going to have to work I'd on like this to one, thank too. Christine. I'd like to thank Christine. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Great shooting, both of you. Thank you. Congrats, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Congrats, Nate Hecker, 2022 Hazy Shade Open winner.
Thanks, Hazy Shade. We'll see you soon. Take care.